Greetings and salutations fellow gamers, Lukey P here with another episode of Let's Play Supreme Ruler Ultimate with Brazil. Um, we are sticking with this playthrough, uh, I know that uh, as I'm recording this episode, the Great War, uh, the latest Supreme Ruler uh, game has been released and seems to have a lot of good features in it so I hear from other players but um, yeah at the moment I'm going to stick with this playthrough and, and maybe in future we'll do a, a Great War uh, playthrough on the on the newest game. Uh, so what's happened since last time? Well a couple of months have, have ticked on, uh, we continue to make loads of money, we're now at the point where um, we don't really need to worry about money to be honest I'm not really paying it a great deal of attention a lot of the time, I trade from time to time more out of habit uh, with other countries to try and maintain relations with them but actually we're at the point where our deficit is just 25 million and that is when we are spending 133 million a day on construction and our trade more than offsets that so um yeah it's mainly electric power we've got loads of surplus electric power and consumer goods didn't actually realize we were selling any consumer goods on the market maybe i am Oh, I am. Let's, uh, let's turn that down a bit. Don't need to be selling many. Wow, selling at minus 54%. That's not the real margin, that's the floor price. Let's just set the floor price to be something like that. There we go. Um, in world news, Germany have just declared war on Spain, which I don't really like because that's probably the Germans win. That's another 28 million to their population, which is already quite big. Um, the UK continue to ha hate us. I hadn't realised how weak their military is, though. Um, not particularly strong, so I'm not too worried about that. China loves us. Um, and is very rich now and is our main trading partner other than Germany um, and I'm getting to the point where I'm a little bit worried about the Chinese with that bigger population um, the only good thing I can say is they haven't started going to war with other countries and conquering them yet and I'm hoping that they don't but their um, military is pretty big uh, people love them their economy is pretty strong despite that poor rating that's mainly because their GDP per capita is quite low um, but actually it's quite well balanced and their population is just ginormous so um so yes um, that's what's been going on um, in terms of trade uh, not trade sorry research uh, we've kind of got to the point where we are out of actual technologies to research and I'm having to research some um, some unit designs just to plug the gaps and to be honest I doubt we're going to use those unit designs really it's just because I don't actually know if I'm honest if I research some of the more basic unit designs if I get um, a better set of options in the future we've got two identical that's just curious oh, if I research one of them they both go to the research pool which is a bit odd um, yeah I didn't know if you research some of these if you get lower if you get um, better units particularly I mean these these are pretty pretty poor but I think it's really just a reflection of the fact that South American countries didn't have much tech in World War II era they weren't really involved in the war and so actually the units we've got to research are, are pretty poor um, we have reached the point where um, this is queued up which is a uh, is an infantry unit uh, which is um, actually a little bit um, we just deselect it for research and then I can show you the stats in its normal format um, so 9, 4 and 7 compared with motorized engineers of 6, 4 and 10 so um, you know that's alright given it's a lot quicker uh, to build and nine is pretty good so um 
Yeah, so we've queued that up to research and you can see we haven't quite got the prerequisites for that yet. It's being researched, but um, that is what it is. Basic missile truck in due course might be all right, although um can't actually build any missiles yet. So um, yeah. Um, and what we've been doing over here is we've had a couple of months, we've built some units, but I've kind of got a little bit bored to be honest, waiting around for stuff to happen. And I am going to go after the East Indies. I don't think we'll knock them out quickly. Um, but we will try and do some damage to them. So we've got um, a bunch of um, Marines queued up here. We've got some escorts uh, just in case. We've got a sub on the way. And we've got these cargo ships. So some of them are completely empty, but I've sent them because they have supplies. And then some of them I've loaded up with some of the units which we were building um, over here in this area. Uh, so my plan would be to um, to land the Marines, capture that with its sea pier, and then um, unload my artillery and hopefully just bomb and and really do a number on all of the garrisons around here. Then use that to kind of slowly sweep across this um, this m main area of theirs. Um, I've also got, um, that's, I mean, East India is going to be quite big to take, I think, because they may have several fallback capitals. Um, I've also got some engineer, um, some Marines, rather, who are just going to go and sit off this coast here, and then when they declare war, they're going to take that city with its sea pier, and kind of move on and take a few of the units around here. Um, but I think this war will take a little while, um, which is okay because we're not really doing much right now. So I'm just going to give it a few more days to tick over. Uh, that's an airbase finished. And we're building some more aircraft production there. I'm kind of. I don't mind supplying the Germans and the Italians with stuff, but I'm getting to the point where if the Germans, I think, take much more, I may start to trade less with them because I think it's their, it's my oil supply which is keeping their military going at all. And uh, I don't really need to sell the oil. Since we captured Venezuela, we're making so much more oil than we use per day, and that's even with a quarter of our oil fields switched off. Um, Research breakthrough. Modern environmental control. I wonder if that opens up some stuff to research. Aircraft construction too. Okay, let's whack that in the research queue. Right, I think I'm just about fed up waiting with this. So let's 77% uh, war justification, that will do. They've got some allies, but no one to worry about. Actually, I'd love it if Guyana declared war on us, save us declaring war on them. Uh, and so we will declare war. some kind of support.
Okay, so at least our um, at least our marines have made landfall. We took their capital. Right, we've taken their capital. Very useful. Now let's see if we can unload into here. So this is what I kind of hoped would happen. We get their capital. It's a nice little um, hub. I don't really want that. What I really would have loved is... Um, What I would have loved is um, a barracks. We've got some of our paratroopers as well. So this is uh, this is looking pretty nice as a. Uh, decisive strike into enemy territory. I don't know where that merchant marine thinks he's going but um, wherever it is he's not going there. <laughs> Let's um, put our escorts and see if they fancy bombing. So this is a pretty nice area to be operating from now, I think. So um, we just turn these all back on for now because. nearby we're going to build we've already got spare capacity as well yeah we we'll keep that we will scrap that and uh, we will so what we do want is let's build here a Barracks. I don't seem to have any barracks here, which is a bit of a shame because it's going to make it a bit more. Going to make it a bit more difficult to um, uh, to heal units, but. Oh look, our condors have decided they've got enough range to resupply me from all the way over there. Um, where are you guys going? Oh, 
artillery. Why? You should be go back there. You guys have landed off the coast here, so let's make you make landfall there. No, okay, maybe a couple of squares away then. Back off. Oh, I really don't know why they did that. Basically, they've just um, semi-committed suicide, these marines, which is really annoying. This is massively frustrating, because they should be able to beat those guys, but for some reason they drive straight into the city and then get themselves shot up. Wow, that was a lot quicker than I expected. Um, so the East Indies, with its massive population, is ours. And we will annex, thank you very much. And we now have a population of 167 million. That I did not expect them to surrender that quickly. I've got to be honest. So we've got a load of infrastructure to deal with. Yeah, we've got an absolutely mammoth uh, economy rebalancing task ahead of us. Um, yeah, we'll probably do a bit of that on camera and a bit of that off camera. Um, let's... Uh, Let's get started, I guess. So we can probably bring... Um, we'll start up around their capital, I guess. So there's a bunch of hydro plants, which we will happily uh, resume construction on. Consumer goods, sure. Don't really need the size of the number of power plants they've got, I don't think. There, we've got loads of that. Tell them to start rebuilding that town. Coal. I'll keep some of these coal. Yes, yeah, so they've got quite a lot of consumer goods plants which is kind of handy I think I probably want to like a supply hub around there let's just see what their capital is like in terms of population and supply we need to give it a few ticks we don't really want to um, let's just have a look at what's that's done to agriculture I think we need to let this tick on for a day so let's let it tick on for a day and it should rebalance stuff Okay, we've still got plenty of agriculture, we've got an absolute load of rubber now. The point where we can probably turn off like half of what we've got on. Timber we'll be fine on. We have got some active. Where are these? You're in. Do 
we really need those? No, we don't. So let's um, start scrapping them. Um, so this is part of basically what I'm looking at here is um, that's all of our spare capacity which we've got and we aren't we haven't really got that many um, uh, that many uh, timber mills active because we've actually got enough just latent in our economy um, to be able to supply enough um, enough timber. Same with electricity, we've got plenty of capacity. Industrial goods, well, we probably need to start thinking about building some stuff now. So they've got uh, consumers using 10,000. Um, uh, we got we can roughly double. We're not that far off, actually. Probably because we just captured a bunch of industrial plants. Um, The problem with these guys is they've built everything really spread out. Um, so in effect, we've got a microcosm of um, of the situation we had when we started the game. When we had, uh, for anyone who's watched from the very beginning of this series, will know Brazil had awful supply at the start of the game, and um, yet now we've got. Um, you know we've got really great supply around any of our production hubs so if we look here for example 100% supply um, even there is 87% actually let's build a road while we're here should take supply around here so this is 94% which means all these have got great supply um, We've got 75% around here, but basically all of our key hub areas have um, pretty good supply. He says, having stumbled on one which is at 57%. That is really rather rubbish. Um, That's why I'm about to build. supply depots there um, but yeah generally we've got great supply now we need to give this a few more ticks to normalize but if you look some of them over here I don't think they're really going to have great um, great supply in that area so let's just give it maybe um, maybe five or six days of ticking over interested where you're trying to go to now they do have a barracks okay Let's um, let's take all of you land units and move you to the barracks there. And while we're at it, we don't need that timber plant and we don't need agriculture. And we don't need coal mines turned on at 10% production or supply. So I'm just kind of tidying things up as I spot them. I've decided we don't need agriculture. Uh, not here anyway. How long have we given it? When did we beat these guys? Research breakthrough, early naval electronics. Yeah, so we're basically, we're kind of almost capped out on what we can research now so um, yeah we definitely want to research both of them because at the moment we've got free uh, research slots. Oh, we can actually research. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> I thought we'd finally reach something we could research, which was half decent on our own, and we can't. Um, cruiser armor designs two is needed. Uh, 
We're not that far off it. Um, I wonder if there's anything we can research which doesn't take that long. An armoured recon car. Well, let's just research that for the, for the sake of it. Put those two in. When did we actually... Yeah, we knocked them out. On the 18th. Um, our economy, we still, you know, we're at the point now where we don't really have that much access consumer goods production. Though we've got a big stock of it because we probably captured it from uh, Singapore. Singapore? East Indies. Oh, Germany was trying to buy some more oil off us, okay. Partisan unit formed. Yes, this does. This does start to happen. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, partisans are a problem, and as soon as they start forming, you really want to do something about them. And what I'm going to do about them is I'm going to put up my investment in the police. Wow, I'm really pleased with our economy now. So we're making 242 million a day. Um, which is largely, I suspect, because of yeah, our production. So we're now producing 500 million worth of stuff and selling it for 836 million. And that is a function of being able, basically, to supply our own consumer goods. Because when we sell them to our population, we sell them at nearly 100% margin. So we're making them here for 12,800 and we are selling almost all of our goods every day um, at double the price so if you think about it when I do uh, trades on the world market I get four times the price um, but that only happens what once a week or so this is constantly selling everything at twice the price and what that means is we now make far more in daily income than our daily expenses even before we do trade um, so I'm really pleased with that and I'll be honest often I don't play the game to the point where I double my population um, so it's quite nice to see that the theory of what should happen is paying off basically all of this spare industrial capacity I was using to export abroad um, with, the, with the exception of oil where I'm making so much that um, that even now I have loads spare um, it's all gone into supplying my own population, which means my economy is balanced in and of itself. I don't actually need any trading partners at this point. Um, so even if I lost all that, I could just turn the extra production off. I don't, I don't actually need to be producing that to export. Um, I could do what I'm going to do now, I think, with... Um, with the oil, which is basically look at it and think, um, I don't really need all that, so I'm going to turn off a bunch of these. Go back down to 90, um, because it just takes out the. I think it, I'm hoping the game is intelligent enough to take out the lowest supplied uh, I wonder why that's not um, fully rebuilt. Uh, I think the game's clever enough to take out the uh, the poorest supplied ones first, or at least I hope it is. Um, so we need to have a look around here for what if any reserves have we got um, nearby who can come and help out with um, with that problem we now have um, where exactly did that partisan unit form so I think that that is going to be our no I'm getting completely muddled
Okay, it's a partisan unit formed. We'll have to have a look through this one. There we go. Oh, we're down here. Maybe we've got some here. We've got a few reserve units there. Wasn't really expecting them to form up there. So let's um. Now this looks kind of good. Let's um let's deploy these guys. We'll send them up there. And they should be able to uh, to take out that Argentine partisan unit. I hope. But partisans are surprisingly strong. Um, yeah, here we go. Let's just mount that unit up there. Uh, I just remembered I've got some engineers up here who would come up here specifically to build some naval production. So we can't build naval production there, can we? Lovely. Uh, can build some Stuka bombers over here and we can build some strategic bombers as well and then let's build some condors that might do because probably I think my next target may well be Australia Basic torpedo designs. Um, where are you going? You're going to there. Let's um, send you over here with these guys. So consumer medium I don't want. Um, or I don't want production in the middle of nowhere, thank you. I think we've had long enough now to um, let their uh, supply return to somewhat normal level and we're basically deciding that a bunch of stuff around here we don't really want or need. Um, As we've got a consumer goods plant there, I may actually want to keep those. Turn a few back on so that we are self-sufficient on ore. Um, I'm probably going to build a seaport there. We don't need any of those agriculture. Certainly not at 10% supply. Well, I think scrap does at least get you a little bit of stuff back. Petrol, no. Coal, yeah, okay. There's, um... Okay, let's build supply depot there. And I think I want to replace you with an airbase. And then let's build a Sea pier versus sea port, oh, that's why. So let's build an air base there and some supply. I'm not going to go double supply just because these aren't quite as key 
some of our main areas. Um, so supply there. And an air, air. Let's go for a seaport in that one, I think. Um, yeah, let's do a seaport. So air bases and seaports do roughly the same impact on supplies, but. Um, So I'm going to choose to keep these then. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Avoid scrapping. Because they're now going to be next to somewhere with decent supply. Um, be able to transport road. And, okay. um, yeah, so air, air bases and seaports have the same impact on supply. Um, and then supply depots go on top. So I normally like to try and alternate if um, if I think I'm going to keep some some land. So having a um, a seaport there just gives ships somewhere to repair in that kind of area of the country. Portuguese Timor. Okay. That looks pretty weak. Don't care about small coal power plants at all. In fact, why not? Rather than do them all one by one, I'm going to look for a bunch of things to scrap. So that's coal mines. I wanted to go to electricity, coal small, we're scrapping all of them, any petrol ones we've missed, scrap all of them, and you see it's a lot quicker way to scrap, um, petrol small, no, okay none of them, how about um, medium and micro, micro we've got none of, medium we've got three, Scrap, scrap, scrap. Uh, what about industry goods? Micro and medium. Scrap, 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 scrap. Okay. That's got a C up here already. So this is gonna, uh, this is gonna, we're gonna spend a lot of money here, basically sorting out the supply for our uh, for our new uh, our new East Indies Empire, so to speak. Um, and rather than uh, spend ages doing that on camera, I think you guys have probably got the gist of what I'm going to be doing. And I would do that off camera, probably with the game on pools, um, just going around scrapping stuff, um, getting our economy a bit more efficient um, by scrapping low supply areas and then building, if I decide to keep an area like, I'm um, just trying to see if there's a built, yeah, this looks built up-ish. If there's something useful there, I'll probably build like a supply hub around there and then keep them. Um, I'll probably build a supply hub around these various rubber plantations we've got um, it always does puzzle me well when they go inactive they go to 98 percent okay maybe it's because it's a poor supply area or something timber mill council construction um so yeah we will um we will wrap that one there um a good a good episode for brazil um i am in case you can't tell uh, from my tone and what I've said throughout this episode, I'm really pleased with A, how quickly we overcame the East Indies and B, that we've now got double our, uh, our population we had before. You know, we're not we're not in the world leaders of population now, um, but we're catching them up. If we take Australia, we'll probably be not too far off the population of the US. Um, and Australia, I suspect, is one of the uh, the ones we're going to be looking at soonish and then longer term I have to think about getting a foothold in Africa um, 
possibly taking out the UK, which is sad for me as a as a Brit. But um, I think when we take them out, all their colonies get made independent countries. So we could sweep across a large chunk of Africa if we land some of our. Um, we've got loads of units in reserve here, just sitting around. If we take a port somewhere over here and see transport them all over, we can. Um, yeah, we can take large chunks of Africa as well. But that is uh, longer term. Um, for right now, I will wrap the episode there. Um, as always, any questions, any suggestions, or if you just want to get involved, um, do let me know in the comments. Um, we will smash those partisans offline as well. Um, do, um, do like this video if you've liked it. If you've really liked it, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm Lukey P., and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching.